regard. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do two simple modifications to your W203 in order to give it a much sportier look. Now these two modifications are going to be the bonnet badge and also the front grill. Now as you can see behind me, I've already changed my grill on the W203 but I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to change out your grill to a sportier one like this. Now there are many different types of grills out there. So this is just the type of grill that I went for. It's basically the W204 style grill. The reason why I'm going to show you how to do these two mods specifically is because these mods basically go hand in hand together. Now usually the factory bonnet badge is the standing Mercedes-Benz badge. I don't have that anymore because I've already changed out my bonnet badge but as you can see back here the bonnet badge on my W203 now has had a lot of sun damage so I'm going to change it out to a newer style uh, bonnet badge but not just any style this is the bonnet badge of a W204 and you're probably thinking it's not going to fit and to tell you the truth that's what I thought at first as well that you can't use a W204 badge on a W203 because they are different size badges but to my surprise when I gave it a try it does fit and the amazing thing is that the factory badge of the W203 is a 47 millimeter badge in diameter and this is a 57 millimeter in diameter so it's a whole 10 millimeters bigger meaning that it's going to stand out more and it's going to make your car pop a little bit too. I know you're probably thinking that it's just a badge but you know sometimes it's the little things that makes your car pop and just gives it that much more character. This is an aftermarket bonnet badge that I've got on here and it is the one where you apply the adhesive badge onto the badge itself. It comes in two parts where you have your badge and then you have the screwing mechanism that um, attaches it to the bonnet. I really don't recommend to buy this type of bonnet badge because they aren't of the best quality. I would really recommend to get something like this because it's a really good quality badge. Yes, it's still plastic to a certain extent, but you know, you want the badge that protrudes. So if you take a look at this badge here, as you can see, it protrudes. So, you know, it's a good quality Mercedes-Benz badge. That's what you want. Now, there are many different types of styles out there. So, just make sure you go for the 57mm badge. I'll leave a couple of links in the description where you can get these badges from, just to help you guys out. Personally, I would go for the 57mm badge. It's just going to look so much nicer because it's much bigger and it feels more of your bonnet. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys how to do the front grille because, you know, this is a very simple mod. And I want to show you guys because changing out the front grille pretty much changes the whole look of your car. I truly believe that it is the front grille that most people see straight away. And it, it pretty much makes a statement as to what type of car you drive, you know, classic, sporty, you know, along those lines. Let's jump into the video and I'll show you guys how to remove the front grille. Then we'll do the bonnet badge. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is pop the bonnet. So if you look underneath here, under this steering wheel, you go underneath here and look underneath you will see a red lever just pull on that like so and that will pop your bonnet the bonnet pop i see a lot of people make the mistake of trying to pull it from here that's not going to work if you look just inside here you're going to see a little lever that's what's going to undo a clip so that you can lift your bonnet up as you can see here the mechanic who i first brought this car to to service he was an idiot and he pulled it from here and snapped one of my screw clips. Sometimes you gotta let them know how to open up your car because most mechanics just think the same way. The best way I have found to lift your bonnet up is to raise it from here where it's solid and then pull this lever out. So you pull the lever out and then you lift up. You wanna lift it from somewhere that is solid like your actual bonnet. Don't lift it from the grill because you're going to break it. There are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, eight mil screws that you need to remove that hold the front grill to the bonnet. So there's one here that's missing because that's already broken. Like I said, the mechanic broke it. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Six. With all six screws removed, 
this is just going to come straight off and look at that that's how easy it is to remove the front grille of your w203 next we're going to remove the bonnet badge like i stated earlier my bonnet badge is the aftermarket one that looks like this so it's really easy to remove it just screws on and off so you see the the bar that goes across there the one that goes across it like that that's what's keeping it from coming down anymore and pressing it against the bonnet all we need to do now is unscrew this and this will come off this is the aftermarket bonnet badge so if for any reason you bought your car and there's an aftermarket bonnet badge like this hold the badge at the top and continue to unscrew the whole thing will just come down and your bonnet badge will be removed with one hand i'm just going to hold the badge and i'm just going to continue to unscrew this and then you just take out the badge and that is the badge removed so as you can see it's just been sun damaged so it's gone all yucky and yellow so you know it's about time that i changed the bonnet badge as well and that's pretty much how it goes together it just simply screws on like so and that's how it clamps onto the bonnet so that it doesn't move and it's on there nice and tight this plate here braces against the bonnet and this wing like nut is what tightens it so that it braces against the bonnet and keeps it secure in one spot if you had the factory style bonnet badge with the standing mercedes-benz emblem what you need to do is get underneath here and with a pair of pliers you need to grab onto the bottom of your standing emblem rotate the bottom of your standing emblem so that it can go through there because it will sit in and then twist so that it will lock against here rather than sitting where these gaps are then you simply lift your emblem out and that's it that's all there is to it this is our new badge right here the way this clips on is sit it in there the right way up and then press it down and it will clip into place with these two push clips here so that's how it sits in like so and then in order to fit it all you have to do is just press it straight down once you push it down the center will push in and then it will come back out again and clip onto the bonnet so we'll push it down and that's it when you look at it from underneath now only one side has clipped on really well we still need the other side to clip on i'm just going to give it a tap of this here while i give it a tap there we go after giving it a couple of taps you can see that both of them are now clamped onto the bonnet so make sure that it's clipped on like that so you know for a fact that your bonnet badge isn't just going to fly off when you're driving that's how easy it is to install a brand new bonnet badge it's completely flush there is no gap at all whatsoever it is flush all the way around we're going to just reinstall our front grille and that's it all you have to do is just make sure that it all lines up sit it in nice and flush okay and then screw in your screws before you go to tighten your front grille back on you have to ensure that this is bonnet release lever is in the first grille space the first gap of your grille it has to be in this part of the grille right here so your first gap make sure it's in there and then you can reinstall your screws now and you are pretty much done there we go our sixth one is broken we take a look make sure we double check everything make sure your bonnet badge is securely in so give it a push if it comes out then you know you haven't got it in yet check your hood release lever make sure that's fine and now we are pretty much done look at that does that not look just so much better giving it a much sportier look i love the w204 style grill that's why i went with this style grill so if you take a look at your gaps now it lines up perfectly as you can see the gaps are perfect this would also be a good time to change out your front badge if you wanted to change it to a different style badge it does come out so easily if you just push on these three pins your badge will come out so if you needed to replace your badge for any reason 
that's how easily your badge comes out it's just those three pins and your badge comes straight out the only thing that was securing this badge was simply these three pins here one two and three so if you need to replace yours because it's cracked for any reason this would be the time to do it because it really is that easy to change out your mercedes-benz badge that's only on the aftermarket style grill and to push it back in simply line them up one two and three and then just push it straight back in that's how you would change out your bonnet badge your front grill and your badge for your front grill if you needed to for any reason and that brings us to the end of the video so if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and as always don't forget to like share comment subscribe ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads until next time guys this is mike with mikey's vlogs signing off